Hello, my name is Mark McDermott and I'm the CEO of ScreenCloud. Today, I'm going to give you a video tour of some of the core features of our product. Firstly, once you've selected your media player, installed it, added it to Wi-Fi, found and downloaded the ScreenCloud app, you'll see a six digit code on the screen. At that point, you come to our website, signage.screen.cloud and create an account for your company. Just enter the company name and then you can either register via email or with Google sign in. Once you've signed up, you'll see our welcome screen. And to get started, I'm going to add the first screen. I'll just click add screen and enter the code. I'll then give it a name that makes sense to me. This one's going in the lobby and click add screen. At this point, the screen has been added to screen cloud and we're ready to start making some content. In ScreenCloud, there are two primary ways of adding content. Firstly, through our App Store and also via Content Upload. If we go and have a look at the App Store, you'll see that we've created a whole series of very handy apps from social media to news, weather, currency, Google Slides, and many, many more. We'll be adding to these constantly. Let's do a demonstration using the Twitter app. If you want to show your tweets on a screen, click add this app, type in your handle or any other search term. And then you can change a few parameters as you wish. You'll need to log in with Twitter. And then you can preview the app to see what you've made. If you're happy with that, click Add App. And finished. You can go and add as many apps as you like and as many different versions of each app as you like. Let's have a look at weather. And finally, let's add some news. After that, you can go to the content upload section and put some of your own content into ScreenCloud as well. You'll see here that we already have the apps that we've just made. If you click the upload button, you can upload a whole range from a whole range of sources, such as your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive, or Gmail, or any, any others. I'm going to upload a few images and a short video. You'll see them listed here. When you click upload, all of those files are uploaded to our server and then they begin to be automatically optimized. That means that you can upload files in any format you like and we'll optimize them for screen for you. Once all of those files have finished uploading and been optimized, you now have your complete content library and it's time to make a playlist. So a few things to notice here. You have your content library on the right hand side, which you can search over in real time. To add content to your playlist, you just drag and drop. And you can add content multiple times if you like. So I'll add our branding animation in as well after each weather item. 
you can adjust the length of time that an image displays by just changing that here. And if you want to move content around, it's just drag and drop. If you want to get rid of any, you just delete it. There are a few options here as well. If you click yes to these options, it means that if any uh, asset which has been uploaded that isn't perfectly oriented for a 16 by 9 ratio, the ratio of most screens, it'll be stretched out, although not distorted, um, to fill up the space on the screen so no black bars uh, will show at the top or the sides. If you ever want to copy your playlist and make a new version, you just do that by clicking here. Next, it's time to make a schedule. Click Create Schedule, give it a name, and then just start by dragging and dropping times that we want to show different playlists. Select your playlist from here, and you can always adjust the time just by typing that in. And then if you want to follow up with more content afterwards, just keep on going until you fill out your whole week. We would suggest using multiple playlists for different days and different times of day to keep your screens interesting and relevant for your user base. If you'd like to edit a day, you can change the playlist or change the time. And if you'd like to preview your schedule, just click this button and you'll see the screen in a small window. Finally, we finished uploading content, creating playlists, and doing schedules. So let's get that on the screen. Go back to our screens page, click here, and we can set the schedule. This will now start showing on our screen. However, if you did want to do something a little more fancy with the screen layout, you can click on settings. At this point, you can change the layout into several predefined formats. I'm going to add this with a sidebar and area for a ticker tape. On the right hand side, I'm going to show a Twitter feed. And in the bottom, I'm going to take the news headlines. If we click preview screen again, we should see all of that in action. And finally, let's take a look at that on the big screen. If you'd like to try ScreenCloud yourself, please head over to screen.cloud for our 14-day free trial.